How one broken cable can destroy a fighter jet on an aircraft carrier. Imagine a fighter jet landing on an aircraft carrier that can't break on time and falls off the ship into the ocean, destroying the plane and killing the pilot. Stopping a plane on an aircraft carrier depends mostly on one cable. What if it breaks? Have you ever wondered what happens when an airplane takes off or lands on a United States aircraft carrier? It's not easy to get on and off a U.S. aircraft carrier. Because they are the biggest moving platforms in the world, flight decks are always exposed to weather that is hard to predict when they are at sea. To take off from and land on a carrier in these tough conditions, a pilot needs to have a lot of knowledge and experience as well as a high level of skills. It is an amazing feat of aviation that takes skill, precision, and teamwork. But what happens if the arresting cable breaks when the plane is landing? It all comes down to great communication and a lot of skills to take off and land on an aircraft carrier. We're going to look into every step of this exciting project from taking off to landing. Pilots have to get ready for their tasks before they take off to make sure everything goes safely. This includes getting a full briefing from air traffic control about the current weather, runway patterns, wind direction, speed, and altitude limits as well as any other changes to the standard flight routines. When pilots are already in the air, they can use all of this knowledge as a guide to help them make the best decisions. Aside from that, it gives them a chance to make sure that all of their equipment is working right before they take off. To take off from an aircraft carrier, you need to use special techniques that aren't used anywhere else in the aviation world. This type of takeoff is the only one where these methods are used. After the pilots get their training and make sure all of their systems are working, they will be hooked up to the carrier's launch system. At this point, the pilots will take charge of the plane and move it into place for the ascent. Catapulting, also called cat shots, is the most common way to launch a plane. In this approach, the plane moves forward with the help of pressurized jets of water and steam. In just two seconds, it can hit speeds of up to 230 knots. Decisions are made in less than a second. Pilots have to look at real-time information, like the direction and speed of the wind, to figure out how to stay safe in the air. Depending on the situation, being able to use this information to make quick decisions can mean the difference between life and death. Pilots need to keep an eye out for other planes when they are climbing to avoid running into them in the air. As a plane gets close to the ship, the pilot will lower its tail hook to make contact with the ship's arresting gear. Approaching an aircraft carrier is different from approaching any other airport. Instead of using runways, pilots land straight on a smaller platform surrounded by sea. When coming close to an aircraft carrier, there is no room for mistakes. When they reach the right height, they will lower their tail hooks so they can grab one of the arresting lines that hang a few feet above the deck. These lines are very far apart from each other. When a fast plane touches one of these wires, it slows down. This keeps the plane from going too far or causing an accident, which could have happened if it hit the deck too hard. In other words, these lines stop anything from going too far or going wrong. As they get closer to the flight deck, pilots have to lower their tail hook and double check that it is firmly fastened in the right place. As the plane is coming down the land, a wire could break. They will be able to touch an arresting line, which will slow them down and bring them safely down to the deck. Because the lines that hold ships in place also act as shock absorbers, they keep planes from crashing when they stop quickly, which can happen when the wind whips around. This is because the wires keep ships from moving and soften the impact when planes suddenly slow down. If a pilot's tail hook can't hook up with one of the arrestor wires because the cable is broken, the pilot has to call off the landing and try again later. It means that the driver must do whatever it takes to get the plane off the ground so it doesn't crash into the water below. The only way to avoid falling into the water below is to get the plane off the ground. Aborting the landing takes a lot of skill and quick thinking, and even if it is done correctly, it is still dangerous because it makes it more likely that other planes on the deck will crash into each other. Because of this, pilots must be very careful when maneuvering around ships to make sure the highest level of safety possible. Before flight operations start, people are told about possible dangers. This helps them develop better decision-making skills, which are needed to make sure the best level of safety is kept throughout flight operations. If a pilot can land an airplane safely even though one of the cables broke, then as soon as the plane touches down, he or she will separate from the broken wires and go to safe places along the deck. After the pilot has done everything that needs to be done for safety, like clearing the wires, etc., he or she will usually start to carefully taxi away from the airport. Any mistakes made at this point could endanger not only the pilot's life, but also the lives of other people in the area. This step is just as important as the landing itself because of this. There aren't many people who can say they have flown around the world's biggest ships and then landed safely on them, even though there were a lot of things in their way. So the brave service members who have worked hard to operate on U.S. Navy ships should be respected. 
We are very grateful to the men and women in the U.S. Navy who put their lives at risk to make sure that our country's aircraft carriers stay in good shape and are not damaged. We will always be grateful for this. To sum up, the arresting cables that are placed on U.S. aircraft carriers are an important part of the safety infrastructure that lets pilots safely take off and land their planes. Even though technology has improved, there is still a chance that an arresting wire could break because flight operations on an aircraft carrier are complicated and hard to predict. Have you ever had the chance to work on an aircraft carrier's flight deck? If this is the case, please share your stories in the comments section below so we can learn more about what happens on these big ships daily and hear about your adventures. Did you like the video? Please tell us what you think in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos about the US Navy.